our previous lab, we examined the digestive system of the frog. In this lab, we will continue our dissection to examine the frog's respiratory, circulatory, and excretory systems. All animals take in oxygen and give off carbon dioxide through the process of respiration. The frog has three means of respiration, through its skin, through the lining of its mouth cavity, and through its lungs. Since a frog does not rely entirely on its lungs for respiration, its lungs are relatively small. To see the right lung, we need to lift up the lobes of the liver. The left lung is over here, but we cannot see it because it is hidden beneath the liver. Now, let's look at the frog's circulatory system. The primary organ of the circulatory system is the heart. The heart is enclosed in a tough, clear membrane called the pericardium. The pericardium protects and cushions the heart. We need to open up the pericardium to see the parts of the heart. Now that the pericardium is opened up, we can see the chambers of the heart. A frog's heart has three chambers, a right atrium, a left atrium, and a ventricle. In order to see some of the other major arteries and veins, we need to remove the liver and some of the organs of the digestive system. We want to be very careful not to damage the heart or any of the blood vessels beneath the liver. All three lobes of the liver join in the middle, so we will cut away the lobes, starting with the right lobe, then the left posterior lobe, and finally, the left anterior lobe. Now, we will remove the stomach and the small intestines. Next, we need to remove the stringy fibers that we see through the body cavity. They are called fat bodies. Fat bodies are accumulations of fatty tissue the frog uses to store energy before hibernation during a cold winter or estivation during a hot, dry summer. Now we can remove the large intestines and more of the mesentery. With the liver removed, we can see a large group of arteries and veins just posterior to the heart. This is the hepatic portal system. All of the frog's blood flows into and out of the liver through the hepatic portal system, so toxins can be removed as blood flows through the liver. The main artery that carries blood away from the heart is the aorta. The aorta splits into two systemic arches, here, and here. Then, the arches rejoin in the lower abdomen to form the dorsal aorta. Several smaller arteries branch off the dorsal aorta. These are the renal arteries. Renal arteries carry blood to the kidneys, where liquid waste is filtered from the blood. The liquid waste filtered out of the frog's blood by the kidneys is excreted as urine. From the kidneys, urine travels down two tubes called ureters. The ureters empty urine into the urinary bladder, which excretes urine through the cloaca. Once the blood is filtered, it is carried by renal veins back to the bloodstream. Blood returns to the frog's heart through a main vein called the vena cava. By dissecting a frog, we have been able to see its internal anatomy. We hope that you were able to see that some of the frog's organs function much like our own organs, but other organs were designed by the creator to meet the specific needs of this amphibian. At this time, proceed with the corresponding activities.